How are we doing, ladies and gents, boys and girls? Welcome back to another fun episode of Tom's Flair Bartending Tips. And today, I'm gonna to show you a selection of pours that even my mum can do. Sadly, my mum's not here to perform them. And I'll give you a little upgrade on each one of the moves as well, just so if you can do these pretty quickly, I'll show you how you can make them a little bit better. All right, the first move is an old school legend move. Mr. James Todd said that he created it, but he didn't create it, he just used it a lot. We call it the Vogue. Looks like this. <laughs> Super visual, I still see people using it today. And it's very simple to perform. So how you perform this move is hand out, thumbs down, grab hold of the bottle. And then with the shaker, you have the open then facing down. You're gonna grab it like this. You wanna turn the shaker over in your hand like this. Okay, so the open end is now facing up and the bottle is facing up. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna turn the tin over like that. And then your hand is gonna come underneath your arm and over to pour, okay? But you do it at the same time. So you go whoosh, pour, then you do a little bounce, and then you come back again. So all together looks like this. Hand, thumbs down, grab hold of the bowl. Tin, grab hold of it, turn it over. Turn over the tin, turn over the bottle, you come to pour, okay? Do it on one big motion. <laughs> do your pour, do a little bounce, and come back. But you can do the tin at the same time. So you go bounce, pour, and come back again. Now you can do an upgrade to this move where you do something a little bit extra with the bottle where you come over, you pour, you bounce, and you turn the bottle further over. And then you're kind of in this awkward position like here. And then you drop the bottle down and grab it in reverse with the same hand. Now there is an up upgrade to this, which I created myself. This was about 20 years ago. Same concept, but instead of just throwing the bottle, you're gonna throw the tin as well. <laughs> Let's just use the tin for now. Got a bottle here, tin there, you come over. You're gonna throw them both up, the same way you would do just with the bottle. And the right hand is gonna grab the tin, okay? And then with the bottle, the left hand is gonna grab the bottle. So your left hand is just coming up to grab the bottle here and then you're taking it the opposite direction. So as you throw them both up, you grab and you take them away from each other. All right, the next move Tom Cruise performed in the movie Cocktail. Uh, and when Tom Cruise did it, he made it look super cool. And he was trained by a guy called John Bandy, who showed him how to do this move. So essentially it's John Bandy's move, but Tom Cruise used it as well. And the move looks like this. I added the last bit in myself just to give it a little bit extra, but it is all about the pour behind the back. So this move is more simple than the previous one pretty much, but I'm gonna show you a little upgrade as well. Same grab with the bottle, hold the bottle in a tennis grab, so thumb facing down, grab hold of the bottle. Tin, open end facing up. I'm gonna turn this way so you can see. You bring the tin behind your back and the bottle, you're gonna come and you're gonna pour like this. In this position, you can see everything that's going on. You can see your pour. Now you can hold the tin in a beer grip if you want, okay? So however you feel comfortable. I like it in a tennis grip because that's the natural position that you pick up the shaker already and you can come and do the pour. Now, what I did after this is I put the bottle inside the shaker and then I grabbed hold of the shaker with my other fingers. So I lifted it up and I had the bottle and the shaker together. Then I grab it back with my left hand and stop pouring. Now the little upgrade to this move would be like this. I have shown this move on previous videos, but it's a nice connection to this little pour. All right, the next move I got from Jumble St. Pierre and it looks like this. <laughs> really simple move to perform, but it's nice because it comes up behind your head and then you finish with a nice pour. Now in this way, you're picking the bottle up in a normal beer grab, so normal grab. With the tin, you're holding it in the same grab as before, so you're picking it up directly from the bar. As you come up, you come over to pour and you twist the shaker over, and then you come up behind your head like this, so you end up in this position, so the pour is happening behind your head. Then you come around to in front of you, and you finish your pour, and then you're done, and you can pour that liquid inside the shaker or the drink or whatever you're using. So once more, it looks like this. The trick with this move is to hold the bottle and the tin together like this. So as you come up to pour, you bring them together so the pour spout is inside the shaker and then you're pouring and then you separate when you bring it in front of you. 
So the upgrade is quite tough. Now, there's two different upgrades I'm gonna show you actually. So you've got the thumb roll. Whoop. Basically, you're holding the shaker as you would normally, but you're gonna perform a thumb roll. So the tin goes directly all the way around the thumb. Now, the way we perform this is you throw the base of the shaker up, the tin comes around, and then you grab it in the same hand again, but you come up behind your head. Now, the trick with this is that once you catch after the thumb roll, you need to turn the tin over so the open end is facing up so the pour spark can come inside the shaker. So you do thumb roll, up, around, and pour. But you wanna try and do the whole thing together. One more time. Boop. There we go. And the extra upgrade to this is a tough one. It involves a bump. So oh, you're gonna bump it from your right arm to your left hand. So you hold the tin in exactly the same position. You're gonna pick it up, you're gonna throw, you're gonna bump the tin off of your right arm, which is holding the bottle. So I've got the bottle here. You're gonna throw that up and bump it off of your right arm. And then you're gonna bump it, you're gonna catch that tin behind your head. Okay, so once you've caught that tin behind your head, Okay, then you come over with the bottle directly into pouring, you see? You bring it around and then you're done. So the whole thing looks like this. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give you a fourth and final move which you can use, which is super simple and one which my mum can do easily. But if you come to pour, you're pouring like this, you twist and you stretch out the pour like that. So you're gonna hold the bottle in a beer grab and then the shaker you're gonna grab in a tennis grab like this and turn the shaker over so the back of your hand is facing towards you. Uh, and when you come to pour, you're gonna twist the shaker away from you. So notice how my left elbow is going down, okay? And I twist the shaker because I wanna make sure the, the open end of the shaker is still facing up. So I twist the shaker, my hand around like this, keep it always open up, then I stretch it down and then I can cut off my pour. I would recommend you start with the pour spout inside the shaker and twist, you're not gonna get any spillage whatsoever. So you're there, twist, stretch, cut. And then when you get better, you can stretch it out, twist, and cut. Sweet! Thank you very, very much for watching, ladies and gents, boys and girls. I hope you like this video, and if you do, please don't forget to give it a little like, a little thumbs up, and drop me a comment in the comments box below. Let me know what you think. Um, and I really, really appreciate you watching all the way until the end. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that lovely stuff. And thank you very, very much for watching. Until next time, see you.